Hi guys, it's Mike here, and in this video I wanted to show you how to master your PowerPoint MOS exam. So this will be part one, and what I'm going to show you is how to uh, cover the first major MOS PowerPoint skill, which is create and manage presentations, and that'll be a big chunk of your exam, about 30 to 35 percent of it. So that includes how to create a presentation, meaning how to create a presentation from a Word outline, how to insert and format slides and change the background and that kind of stuff, how to modify slides using the slide master, how to order and group slides, which means how to create sections, change presentation options and views, as well as how to configure a presentation for printing, and lastly, how to configure and present a slideshow by creating a custom slideshow. So the first skill I want to show you is how to create a presentation, and you would think that would start from this page here when you enter PowerPoint whether it's entering a blank presentation or a template, but it's not. It's actually creating a new slide from a Word document or a Word outline. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the way you would do that, I'm going to open up my previous presentation. And let's say we have to add, we're asked on our MOS exam to add a slide from the Word document more skills. So more skills Word document. The way you would do that is go to the, you can, it's in the insert tab as well, but I like to go from the home tab, go to the new slide drop arrow in the slides group, and then slides from outlines. So whether it's a word outline or a word document, this is where we get anything from a word document. So, or anything with word in it. So, um, so it might be an RTF file or a doc file. All right. So we're going to, add this one to the end of our slides. I'm going to double click on more skills and then there's going to be a slide that pops up that says more skills at the end of our presentation and it's right here. The next skill in this section is how to insert and format slides and there's a lot to unpack here but I'm going to try to keep it to about four sub skills within uh, inserting and formatting slides and the first um, part of that would be how to hide and unhide slides versus deleting a slide. So on your exam, you might be asked to hide a slide. So for example, if I was asked to hide slide seven here, I would click on it, right click with my mouse and then click hide slide. And you see there's a little slash and there's sort of like the, um, the content is gonna be faded. That means your um, slide is hidden. To unhide it, I would just do the same thing, right click on it, hide slide again, it comes back up. So just be careful with this one. It sounds a lot like deleting a slide, but it's not. So there's a difference between deleting it forever and just hiding it. So to delete it, it's pretty much uh, a similar step here. So you just right click on it, go up to delete slide. Now it's gone forever. So be careful whether you're asked to delete a slide or hide it. Also, when it comes to inserting and formatting slides, you might be asked to modify a layout or create a completely new one. So I'll show you how to do both. If we want to change the layout of this slide six, we would click on it. And then in the slides group in the home tab, you can choose a different one. So maybe I want this to be content with a caption. It changes things, but uh, that's how you would do that. And if you're asked to create a completely new layout, you would go to the view tab and then go to the slide master. So click on slide master. And this takes us to this backstage view. And be careful because this is the title and content layout master. It's not the actual slide master. The slide master is up top. And this is my office theme slide master. Uh, so if you're asked to change something in the slide master, go there. But if we're asked to create a, a new layout, we would click on insert layout because we're creating a new one. And then you can kind of play around with the, um, uh, the layout here. If you're asked to insert a placeholder, maybe you have a text placeholder. You could just draw it like a shape. And then you could also um, look outside of that box and then insert another, maybe a picture placeholder. So you're creating a new layout from this backstage um, slide master. And that's how you would uh, create a layout from the slide master view. Just be careful on your exam that you don't start making more changes in here. You have to go to the slide master and then press the close master view to get back to the normal presentation view. So a third sub skill you have to know for your MOS PowerPoint exam when it comes to inserting and formatting slides is how to change the slide background of one individual slide versus the whole slideshow. So 
If you want to change what the whole slideshow looks like, you would do that here in the themes group. And let's say I just choose something like this, the ion uh, theme. Now you can see on the left hand my on the left hand pane here, um, all my slides have changed. But that's not typically what will be asked of you on your MOS exam. What you will be asked of is to have to change an individual slide background. So it's a little bit different. Uh, it's in the design tab, just like the previous step. And you would just click on the slide you want. So let's say I was asked to change only the slide background of slide six. And to do that, I would click on slide six, click the format background in this design tab. And then you might be asked to change the background to a solid fill color, let's say blue. So then we would solid fill color blue. That's dark blue. This is blue. And then we, and then if you look on the left, the, um, the slides pane here, um, we've only changed the background of slide six. Another skill when it comes to inserting and formatting slides is how to insert uh, headers and footers on your slides. So for this step, um, it seems pretty straightforward, but there's something to look out for. So the way you would do this is click on the insert tab and then go to the header and footer. And just be careful of these tabs here. Do you want, are you asked to put the header and footer on the notes and handouts page? or directly on the slides. So just be careful and to note uh, which, which one you're being asked to do, whether it's on the slide or the notes and handouts page. Sometimes you'll be asked to add a footer to the notes and handouts page and then like a page number to your slides. So you have to know the difference uh, between the two. So if I'm asked to put a slide number and a footer on only slide six, this is how I would do this. Maybe, um, yeah, I know this is so original, slide six. That's what we'll call um, with the slide number. That probably wouldn't make sense, but um, just be careful not, to, the default is to apply to all. If they only ask you for slide six, make sure you only click apply unless you're asked to apply to all. And in some cases you might be asked to apply to all, but not the title slide, in which case you would click here and then apply to all. But if you were just asked to put this on slide six, we would just say apply, not apply all. And you would see a slide number here and the footer directly on the slide here. So now I'm going to show you the skill of how to modify slides, handouts, and notes, but specifically we're going to focus on the slides part. So the what you do in this section is you'd actually go to, this is um, the Slide Master uh, skill. So to get to Slide Master, you'd go to View, Slide Master. You might also have to change the Handout and Notes Master, but I doubt it. I think most of the skills in the MOS PowerPoint exam have you change things in the slide master. So we'll take a look at that again in the view tab under the master views group. Uh, we'll click on slide master and what this slide master allows us to do is make changes to one slide and then it'll be, if you've got the big slide master here selected, any changes we make to this slide will happen to any slide in the presentation, even though um, they all have different layouts. So for example, if you're asked to change the slide master font, be careful with that one. It's not just what we do normally with the home tab and changing the font type here. Slide master actually has an option in the background group. And this is technically the master slide uh, font that we're going to change. And let's say you were asked to change it to Arial, Arial, we would do that. And now all of the text or the font um, type in our presentation will be Arial because we changed it here. And you might also be asked to change something, maybe add a picture here, um, or change the first level bullet on the slide master, which will then change the first level bullet in any slide of your presentation. So if you wanted to, let's say, add a picture bullet to any time you add a bullet point in your presentation, you could do that here. Within this slide master view, we'll go to the home tab, click the bullet point drop arrow, we'll go to bullets and numbering, and then we'll go to picture uh, from file. I'm just going to look up my MOS picture. So every time we add a first level bullet, that image is going to come up. So now be careful on your exam that you exit the slide master, like I said before. So once we've made all our necessary changes uh, to get out of the slide master, you click on slide master and then close master view. And this brings us back to our main presentation or our normal presentation view. 
The next skill we're going to cover is how to order and group slides. And what that means is how to group them into sections. So let's say I want to uh, group the slides two through six and make that a section called skills. I would click above slide two. I'm going to right click on that horizontal red line. And then I'm going to click on the add section button. And then the rename section comes up, which I'm going to title this uh, skills and then rename. If that didn't pop up immediately, what you can do is it'll say untitled section and you can just right click on it and say rename section. So that'll work too. And that's how you would group slides two through six. The next MOS PowerPoint skill you need to know for your exam would be how to change the presentation options and views. And the most common skill here that you will probably run into is how to change the file properties. So to get to the file properties of this document or this presentation, we'll click on the file tab. And then on your info tab, once you click on the info tab, there will be a properties section. You might not be able to see all the properties. So you might have to say show all properties. Let's say if you want to add um, status or subject, uh, if this was a subject, maybe MOS PowerPoint, Okay, so you would just locate the file property here and then just add or change uh, the name of the subject or maybe you were told to change the title as well. Maybe you could title it MOS PowerPoint Crash Course. Now it's important to know that once you've completed this task, if you were asked to insert the title of this file, that you can go back to the main presentation without having this information changed. So if I go back, I can go to the next task and you'll see if we go back again, that this has not changed. So once you put in the title, you can go back to the main presentation and it won't change a thing. You'll be fine and it'll be saved. The next skill I'm going to show you is how to configure a presentation for printing and to get to the, your printing options, you would go to the file tab and then click on the print tab in this backstage view. You might be asked to change the number of copies. So if I was asked to change the number of copies to five, I would do that here. You also might be asked to um, print out a notes page. So that's how you do that here. And you might also be asked to uh, print the slides, all copies of slide one first. And the way you do that is to uh, choose the uncollated. You see that all slide one would print first, all slide twos. Uh, would print second and so on. So that's how you would change to that option. Choose go from collated to uncollated. Collated is just in order. Um, and lastly, you also might be asked to print a section. Now, I'll show you how this can be a little bit confusing. So I know this is a skills section, so I could highlight this and then print selection or print yeah, print selection, but you're actually asked to print the section, not selection. So it sounds the same, but um, so this should have, if you've created a section in the previous task and they want you to print that section, this is the proper way to do it. So if a section is already created and you're asked to print that section, just print, just click the skills section. And then we see all those slides in the skills section uh, ready for print. So the last MOS PowerPoint exam skill I'm going to show you is how to configure and present a slideshow. And the most common skill that you're going to have to know for that one is how to create a custom slideshow. So in the slideshow tab, click the custom slideshow drop arrow and go to custom shows. We're going to create a new custom show. So we're going to click new and this has a list of all our slides. So let's say, say that we're asked to uh, create a custom slideshow of all the even numbers slides. So two, four, and six, we're going to add, and that becomes the new slide one, two, and three. And then we're going to, let's just, this is unoriginal, but even number slides, that's the new name of our uh, custom slideshow. And you can change the order of these by clicking up or down. And then when I press OK, you see that the custom slides uh, show that we just created called even number slides is there. And now we can just close. In the next video in this series, I'm going to cover how to insert and format text, shapes, and images. But while you're waiting for that, check out these two MOS PowerPoint videos to help you study. Thanks so much for watching.